Welcome to the Life of Leisure show. I am yeah. your host, Nick Leisure, alongside with my co-host, Anthony V. Yes, yes. And the Cali Bay. Cali Bay. What's up? We got Demetrius, a.k.a. the specialist. What's in up, the Nick Leisure? House. What's up? What's up? What's He's up? filling in for the infamous late black Rob 916. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Off camera, the man that's keeping us in touch with y'all, Mather. Matthew, Matthew, producer Matthew. Hey. I said Mather. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about Mather like the. Mather. <laughs> Too much. Like the air. What up, yo? That on? Shout out to our sponsor, Get a Clue Clothing, 1050 20th Street between J and K. Joining us Get today, we got Mr. Louis Moreno. Hey. hey. Louis. Look at that chin. Look at Louis. that chin. Right, baby. Louis the MMA jiu-jitsu beast fighter. What's Chill. up, Louis? What's up, fellas? What's going yeah. on, man? Chilling, chilling. You got a fight coming up on Friday, right? Yeah. Little yeah. cuddle match. A little cuddle match. Cuddle match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cuddle and this dude, this dude ain't too little. That's the that's the fun thing about it. He's bigger than you. Yeah. <laughs> How much bigger? Than you? I don't know. It's submission only too, right? Sub only, uh, slams. That means you gotta choke him out or, <laughs> or break his leg or his arm or. Yeah. That's yeah. it. There's no like <laughs> points, nothing. It's just submission only. Right. How long is it? Is it like uh, 15 minute round or something, or is it? Because it there's, yeah, because there's so many matches, they're all eight minutes. Eight minutes. Yeah. Okay. Now, now do, do you guys actually throw? You throw fists and stuff like that too, or is it just uh, jujitsu, like the actual rolling around, pinning? Yeah, just, I mean the the art of jujitsu. I mean, there's strikes, there's shoulder strikes, cross faces. Uh, when you're up in the air, if a guy tries to throw a triangle on you, you can slam him on his head, try to knock him out. Um, I've been known to. Go off stage a few times. I've, 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 I've thrown him off stage a couple of times. I've felt his chokes many times, many, many years. I've I've had the the uh, opportunity to roll with Louis for what eight years or something like yeah. that now. Yeah, roughly. So, yeah, it's good. Yeah, though, he's good. a beast. He's gonna go out there and smash. That's right. Friday. That's right. That's right. And we're gonna be there. Yes. To check Everybody. it out. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show it up. I'll We're going to be there and We're going to get some out. new commentators. Fight to win. Seth, what's up, man? Look at your new commentators on set right here. She said, you yeah, can't do it, baby. Uh, she said, maybe it's a janky phone, but can anybody else? Yeah, it's your janky phone, girl. You work at the DMV <laughs> with Demetrius. His janky. He gave, <laughs> he gave you his janky Shout phone. Shout out to Raw <laughs> Smooth with a banger. <laughs> hey. So, Louie, um, where were you born? Sacramento, California, baby, representing. Hometown. Sacramento Sacramento versus everybody. Yeah. 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 That's what's up. So, Sac, because wasn't, didn't you leave at some point and you went to like overseas to play soccer or something before? Well, what what ended up occurring is I was working in the corporate world. I, in roughly around 2006, uh, 2007, I made a decision to move to LA. Mm -hmm. And that's when I really got to tap into uh, training full time fighting full time and uh, living that life of an MMA fighter. Okay. So for but me, before that, didn't you like, weren't you in like Argentina or something or that happened? Yeah. That also happened like later, but, um, I was for me, I played sports my whole life. Uh, soccer mainly, um, went off to play, uh, you know, in, in third division league, but nothing special. Just, I mean, you know, to most kids traveling outside of the, the country and playing, uh, if that's your dream, do it. Uh, don't hold back by all, by any means. If you got family that's going to support you, you know, stick by those that are supporting you and pushing you towards that direction because uh, the experience is unexplainable. So did you grow up like, did somebody push you into martial arts growing up? Did you, what was the point when you started? Um, well, my grandmother, she... I had the opportunity to be raised by such a, a strong woman. Uh, she got me into uh, Okinawa style Taekwondo mm -hmm. when I was five. Okay. And due to finances and things like that, when I was little, I couldn't continue. So my goal in my life was always, I got to get that black belt. I got to get that black belt. So mm -hmm. then I went and trained with Wade Vieira. Man, shout out to you uh, for your inspiration and motivation. Um, but, you know, Wade, uh, same thing, ended up, uh, you know, stopping working ended up working to, to help with my family and things like that financially. Um, and then, you know, going into, you know, the workforce, uh, it always was just something that hung on my back. And then that's when I tapped into Hoist Gracie, 
when the UFC came out. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a whole new uh, organism for me in my mind. Uh, and it was definitely something that if it happened again in another life again and again, I would have taken the same same journey. So how old were you when you ta started tapping in jujitsu? Uh, 24 years old. 24? Yeah. Were you in SoCal at the time or where were you? Cause I was in... Because <laughs> you were doing like some <laughs> MMA fighting and stuff at the time. Man, yeah. I was uh, I was fat. <laughs> I was big, dude. I was 198 pounds, probably like 22, 23%, maybe higher 30% body fat, really out of shape. Uh, <laughs> ended up, <laughs> your fat ended ass. up with my fat ass. <laughs> I ended up linking up with this dude, uh, Chris Gianelli, man. Much love to you, brother. Uh, if you're listening, if you ain't listening, uh, much love. Um, and I just, this dude was an IT type looking cat, you know what I'm saying? Real cool, real smooth. I'm like, damn, bro, like, what do you, what do you do? Like, just for fun, you know? And that's the first time he goes, man, I, you know what I do is I train jujitsu, Gracie jujitsu. And right there, I was like, man, I gotta go with you. I gotta mm -hmm. go try. <laughs> okay. And yeah. you were hooked ever since. Hooked, man, hooked. I, I took my first pro fight as a white belt uh, after eight months. Um, I actually had to, uh, Chuck Wagner, love you too, brother. I had to sign a, like a little contract off with him and, um, you know, no limit fighting and, uh, I ended up having the opportunity to take a fight in Gladiator Challenge. Uh, my first fight, I was getting my ass whooped. And then I ended up <laughs> at the end of the round, man. I just remember I had the dude in the tie clinch. I backed up, threw a sharp knee up the, up the middle, and I ended up splitting his head, like, from here up. I don't even know how many stitches, but the dude was a beast. And uh, I remember I went back to my corner, and I told Chuck, I go, man, I go, I'm done. <laughs> he looked at me. He goes, you better get your ass back in there. <laughs> oh. I turned around. Then they go, wait a minute, wait a minute. But Jeff, my boy, Jeff Jones, he goes, wait a minute. Look, look. I turn around and the doctor's in there. And the doc I look over and I go, Lord, please stop this fight. <laughs> and they were Is like, it because you yeah. didn't want to continue or because he Man, was so I was, messed up? I was up. tired, bro. Honestly, like if you're thinking about the MMA game, uh, go amateur, fight camo. <laughs> if you're young, man, fight as an amateur. Fight amateur level first before you go pro. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? Talk talk to your coaches. Um, you know, it, it's fire. You know, you're, you're in there. You're Be a competitor on some level in jiu-jitsu, wrestling, um, judo, Aikido, whatever it means. Do go in the gym, lift some weights, um, get your mentals ready, you know. Uh, and then if your coach is out there, man, feed positive energy and, and uh, influence into your athletes. You know, it's always good to push them and, and make sure, you know, that they're they're ready uh, on multiple levels. The angry level, man, you know, is good, but you're going to only get so far. How do you feel about all the different styles of martial arts? Because I was – you know, I grew up, got two black belts, Taekwondo, Karate. Oh, and shit. Stuff, and Nick out here bragging. Yeah, yeah, Nick yeah. out here bragging. I, I hear yeah, charity. Yeah, I heard charity fight. Uh, camera, though. That mm -hmm. makes you look at the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got you. Got yeah, you. Talk, to, talk to the kids and, over here. And, <laughs> and then, you know, talk, and, talk. and then I did boxing, like, for many years and stuff. And I, okay. I really felt like the boxing was, like, way better right, than, right, than right. the martial arts. And right. then when you get into jujitsu, like, I started training with you back, like, eight, nine years ago or right, something, right? Right, right, right. When you, I kind of feel like Joe Rogan. Like Joe Rogan always says, like <laughs> yeah. Joe always says, yeah. like man, he had Taekwondo schools, and yep. then he was like, he thought he was a shit, and then you get in there with somebody in jujitsu, and you're like, man, I don't know how to fight. <laughs> like he was like, because yeah, yeah, it, you know, all that other stuff with the Taekwondo mm -hmm. and karate just went out the window, and right, it was like, right. I mean, the boxing was always great. Mm -hmm. And that's what I always go to if it's like a street thing. But, right, right. you know, with the jujitsu <laughs> yeah. was just, Give me your arm. man, <laughs> that was a whole nother thing because it took away like as a boxer, like right. if I'm 230 pounds. So if right. I throw a punch at you and knock you out, it's, right. it's a wrap. It's All a I got to do is hit you one time. Done. You know what I mean? But, N Nick, you know, somebody didn't, wasn't it uh, Hoist Gracie, the guy who won? Was it the first? We ain't UFC? talking about Hoist. We talking about Louis. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, 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 I mean, the but that's what I'm but, getting but, to. But oh, that's what okay. I'm getting oh, to is that, style, you yeah. know, you know, being in a, like in boxing, you know, size matters. That's why boxers always right. argue and fight over, oh man, he's weight 10 class. pounds overweight. He's five pounds overweight. Right. It makes a big difference. Right. But in jujitsu, mm -hmm. You know, you'll go in, even in the class training, stuff like that, you know, in the right. gym, you'll see guys who come in there and a guy will be 130 pounds 
and a 300 pounder will come in like George mm-hmm. that one time. And then, <laughs> <laughs> what up, George? Old, Shout what out up, George? Bar. Shout out to George. Yeah. Uh, big bar. old bouncer, bouncer at uh, a <laughs> dive bar George, and everything. Baby. Came in 300 plus pounds and, yeah, thought, man, and you know. Yeah, and then my yeah. son at 15 years old oh, yeah, choked him son, out. Oh yeah, your son be whooping ass, son. Yeah, yeah, Jaden at 15. Yeah, Jaden at 15. Jaden was a beast. He won the Pan and everything. Yeah, he won all his wrestles. I love it, man. What's up, Jay? Missy was, Rowe. Yeah, what up, Jay? He always taps in, too. But, yeah, I mean, I used to love just going in there and not just training, but watching him, mm-hmm. like, take out these, like, correctional officers that were, like, <laughs> yeah, 50, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. 50 years old God and damn. stuff. And correctional officers? Real, yeah, real. and then, yeah. you know, their their friends are on the sides just laughing at them and stuff, yeah. making, you know, their ego. You got to throw nah, that ego right. out the door. You do. You do. Because it don't matter how big you are or how right. small you are. It's more technique over anything. Right, Can I ask right. question? How do you, how do you let somebody punch you in the face uh-huh. and then turn around and shake their hand and, and do all this shit? <laughs> and that, how the fuck <laughs> I can't do that? Hey. And, be like, oh. and then they be like, what's hundred? Wow. <laughs> how do you do that shit? And I be like, oh, I got yeah. you. Yeah, hey, you know, and it's kind of interesting because I was watching this video, <laughs> man, and these little kids, uh, you know, in Brazil, I was tripping. My coach, uh, Ali Bet. Uh, check Matt Folsom, man. What's up? Love you guys uh, to the fullest. Changed my life in many ways. Um, you know, these little kids, man, they're, they're doing this like paper, rock, scissors. But if you lose, you get slapped or punched in the face. Kind of shit. Like oh, cold yeah. blooded. Yeah. Mm. Like you did just boom. And I'm like, hold on. I'm open like, chest. I'm thinking, yeah, open chest. We do open, open chest. chest. <laughs> uh, three inch punch. Bruce Lee, thank you. Much love and respect. Um, and honestly, Nick, to get back to your question, man, um, in regards to that boxing, my dad was a Golden Glove boxer, uh, so uh, you know immediately I was coming up, you know, learning to exchange and things like that. Mm-hmm. By all means, I was never close to his level, you know, as far as like boxing was concerned. Um, Taekwondo, I, I feel, is a great confidence builder. Um, it just you know, gets you in trouble later because you that karate you know, shit I, don't I, work. I, I'm gonna <laughs> say, I'm, I'm gonna work. say, I'm gonna say this. I'll say this. I'll say. So, you know, it could, but also at the same time, like as many kids that do it, um, it's probably kept them away from trouble, um, kept them away from going Discipline. the wrong route, disciplined them, mm-hmm. um, gave them a role model. Um, you know, I, I didn't have a father or a mother uh, when I was coming up. So it was it was a huge help to me to have a, a positive influence to uh, elevate me as a person, as a human being. But, uh, you know, to get back to the point, man, I mean, every every aspect for every purpose um, you know, with Taekwondo, it might be a little bit cheaper for some families where mm-hmm. jujitsu is extremely expensive. You I know? feel like jujitsu is much more family orientated, though, because when you go to Taekwondo yeah. tournaments, What's the difference? like when I used to go to tournaments, like we hated each other. It was like the Cobra <laughs> Kai shit. You know what I mean? It was like, oh, they from a different yeah, camp. Yeah. I'm about to kick them in the face and get disqualified. That's how it should be you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like that's how you, but in jujitsu, you'll go, there'll be like thousands of people and everybody's super nice to and you from different camps. Hugs after you give you hugs. Oh, okay. They'll yeah. like share food. Food with you, right, like right, everybody right. is like a family. You know what I mean? Capriso. You got cauliflower yeah. ears. You're a family. That's right. Hey, oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, no, that's real talk. Uh, mm-hmm. I was, hey, I was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he got the cauliflower. I seen it. <laughs> yeah, hold on, man. Hold on. I tried to, my eye work with surgeons. They tried to take that away. It didn't work. Anyhow, <laughs> you drain, do you drain it? Because a lot of people don't drain it. They, just, yeah. they like the cauliflower. But do you so, drain yours? <laughs> I did yeah. because I should have drained mine. I, I sound like did, a punk because I, I don't know none of this. No, <laughs> no, it's it's. I, I, I did. I drained mine because um, I felt like, uh, to me, um, I wanted to just keep that sharp look, you know, and I wanted to be like, okay, a little pretty boy status, whatever. Uh, and mm-hmm. I'm like, it didn't work. I got the cauliflower ear. I got my nose broke. I got my eye sockets broke. Mm-hmm. Um, losing Ooh, teeth, shoot. things like that. So, like that. but that's what makes the family, you know. Um, these are guys, and and on the movie, you know, I, I say it too, man. My boy Chad George, much love, man. Uh, occupation fighter on that on that on that uh, film, his documentary, man. It's it's inspirational. Um, you know, uh, I said it, man. We can go, we can get on the mat for an hour, we can get bloody, and we can punch and kick and and uh, knee each other and elbow. But at the end of the day, man, like that's. That's your my boy, oh, my blade. Nah. That's the one that I want by my side. You know, I want that mm-hmm. person with me. So when we're when I'm out there, you know, hanging out um, and we're at a barbecue or something, um, you know, we're not quick to to you know get an attitude or, or fight because we already did it. We trained in the morning. I'm tired. I just want to eat some good food, have good, <laughs> some good family yeah. time, you know, yeah. and, and take care of and my kids, man, uh, and, and just and just relax, you know. And for me, that to me. 
um, that's the most relaxing is when you can just get in that zone and just appreciate life and the peace and the joy, you know, and then, and then feel your brothers and they're all doing the same thing, man. Cause you don't want to be out there fighting, you know, and, and shooting and things like that. Well, I mean, unless you, you know, want to go out there and thug, but, <laughs> right. yeah, crazy. Yeah, but crazy. You know, there is a bond though, yeah, because crazy. I remember is, like, thick. even at times when my schedule was crazy and we used to train at like 10 at night Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We, we would be there with like jujitsu jacob and all them hey, guys what's it, up boy what's up jujitsu jacob what's up, baby? <laughs> we're down boston now Man, um, come on, though. but yeah i mean we used to be there you know we trained for a couple hours and we'd yeah. be there till like one in the morning just, just kicking like it. kicking it and on the mats and sweaty as hell and, and this you know is, what i'm saying and this just, is after you done fought and punched him and kicked him yeah, and yeah. Like, oh, choke yeah. each other <laughs> and, you know what i mean hey. <laughs> knock somebody out and oh, woke them back yeah. up and, well, yeah the fight you know isn't coming from an angry place though you know it's not like you're out on the street like playing basketball somebody right, right, you know what right. i mean yeah, 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 yeah it's a competition no if you foul me all goddamn game I'm gonna rules. yeah but that's different <laughs> but the foul <laughs> the right. rules that foul me all game. but the foul really isn't part of the basketball game that's like what you're not supposed to do right you know i mean if you're I'm playing basketball win. and like i'm hitting threes <laughs> on you all day long afterwards you're gonna give me a hug and be like okay it was a good no, game, whatever not, right you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but in jujitsu like, are we like, on san quentin are we at san quentin or where we playing at it Hold really on. is like a, <laughs> <laughs> you catch the shift. yeah i mean yeah. it really is like a chess match you know right, what i mean right. it's a chess match it's like okay you got me this time but i'm gonna get you on the next one that's right. I mean, that's yeah. right that's true that's very true okay and you gotta let that ego go out the window because it's you know it's okay he caught me boom tap Okay, I'm gonna get you in the next face, one. My ego has been gone. <laughs> uh, but see, you gotta get <laughs> over that. Vibes here to right, stay see, now. It <laughs> I have helps to be able to get that, over that. though. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But Oosa. see, when you get punched in the Oosa. face on the street, that's now that's different. That's a whole yeah, different go, thing. Yeah, go ham, man. Yeah, yeah. And everything that <laughs> get you did, get the strap, fifty cent. Mm -hmm. Everything you did in the gym is gonna come out on the street in a different way. But do that shit really work though in the streets? Yeah. Oh yeah. Really? I didn't see some people try that karate. Muay Thai nah, shit. Them, them dudes that have been Muay watching Thai. the MMA. Okay, yeah, you're right. And you're they right. ain't really in the gym training. They so, ain't got no cauliflower. So you saying if you can the only cauliflower on <laughs> they got is the one they eating. Hey. That's the only cauliflower <laughs> they got. <laughs> they got each other in the Well, my, my, my uh, coach, he told me a funny story. When they, uh, he, one of his cousins started training, they were in Brazil, and um, <laughs> they went to this nightclub, man, and uh, it was like, you know, the first thing you teach is to slap hands, and then you, you get on your knees or you get on your butt, and then you start to you start your match there when no. you're brand new. The reason why is because when you, I mean, if you don't know how to fall and somebody gets you and takes you down, I mean, you could you could break your wrist or tear your, your neck, tear your ankle, tear your ankle, oh, like man. that three hundred pounder that that <laughs> newbie that that tore my ankle. And you I was sound like, salty you know. about that stuff. I was <laughs> mad, man. I was on Mick crutches for like two weeks. <laughs> for and a it, minute. It, see, I wouldn't have been so mad minute. if it was a black belt. Hey. It, it was like a newbie that had shorts on. He was like 350 right. pounds. Hey. And I just wrapped around him and then he just yeah. caught my ankle in between his knee. And he he your... didn't do no technique. He, he fell. It. He just fell. He just Ooh. fell. And my ankle went. And it was swollen like this big. <laughs> okay, Nick, did like, he get up and be like, damn it. What? No, nah, nah, he, he got up like, him. I don't know what the hell I just did. I yeah. fell on my head. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was I'm like, sorry. damn. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. You know what I'm I'm saying? Sorry. So, no, man. But that dude, okay, so when they went to the club, <laughs> this dude. <laughs> and so they're, 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 these guys are getting ready to fight. They're like, okay, man, it's, you know, they're sitting there, they're having some words. Dude immediately backs up when they start pushing each other, and the dude just sits on his butt. <laughs> and it was like in the club that man stand up stand up yeah and not in was, the club I thought it was a joke face. I thought it was a joke when he was telling the story I'm like man Ali that's a joke man he was like no this is real real <laughs> stuff that happens man and, and I heard story after story after story after story and, ain't that a punk move yeah we got yeah. stories though yeah, hey, you about to get in a fight you like you sit down and be like Louis, Louis hey, so hey, calm hey. like we went to a uh, where were we we was at Dive Bar or something, something right over on K Street yeah yeah Dive yeah. Bar for like a magazine thing oh, that they yeah. put us in they put me in a magazine right <laughs> yeah. and it, it was like a local magazine NorCal yeah, magazine yeah. or something and it was a big old party Tons packed, of people there packed. packed. We were there with everybody. You Chris Dim, move. you know, world class bodybuilders. All these people were all with us. No, no, no. So we go no. in and we're in the back <laughs> VIP, but it's so crowded that you can't even barely. Not walk, where we right? were. Where we were it was open. It was yeah, because we were in the little VIP in the but back I was area, right? Through the, the alley. Keep going. So in, this man. dude, so <laughs> I'm, about Louis it, with us with a whole bunch of us, right? And everybody there is bigger than me. All the guys that we're with. What the Louis is the smallest dude out of all of us, right? We're probably there with like ten guys. 
And um, I'm right like, now. we're chilling in the back. I'm like, where's Louie at? So I'm like, look. Then finally he comes like maybe 15 minutes later, right. comes up and he looks like he's mad. And he never gets mad. He's like right. cool never, with everybody. Right, right, yeah, right, right. he Louie is. He cool right. with everybody. So I'm like, yeah. what happened? He's like, man, this dude was trying to start a fight with me, man. Just because <laughs> I stepped out of the way into his little VIP booth to let these girls walk by. I was trying to be mm, a gentleman, you know? man. I, yeah. Honestly, I was like, hey, go ahead. You know, and I, I stepped to the side just to, you know what I mean? Because it was packed, dude. Like the only way they were going to get by is for me to move. They move and then I move through. Right. Mm-hmm. And this dude, man, I tell you, when I moved in. It was in, his chubby, like, well, he wasn't even chubby. His belly was just like this, and his <laughs> arms was like skinny. <laughs> he was <laughs> and, and he was, kick, he was kicking it. And he was kicking you know, it. And one of the girls, like, time. yeah, he had a couple girls. And one of the girls that was with them, I knew her, right? So we were all, we're all leaving. Of course and, you didn't. And yeah. keep, yeah. keep <laughs> <it> around <laughs> like that. But you know what I mean? But as we're leaving, so Louie's like, yeah, that's the dude right there. You know what I mean? And keep in mind, we're leaving with like that. Woo. We're leaving with like some big guy. D. Or we're leaving with Chris Dim, mm-hmm. who's like, you know, Monster. number one Asian bodybuilder in the world. Shot the arms is like oh, this yeah. big. As big as my body. So, so we're all walking out. And he's like, yeah, that's him right there. And we're just like, okay, we stop. I'm like, he's like, what should I do? I'm like, I don't know, just give him a choice. Like, you know yeah, what I Yeah, no, nah, real talk. Yeah. Like, Mick, either, you do it. Mick, you just do it out there. Yeah, I was, was like, you do it out good. there. It was, it was like, either was squash good. it and let it go. Or punch or him in take the motherfucking face. Or we can go right here. Yeah, yeah. And the dude just like looked at Louie and he was just like, I guess he just said what, like, let it go or whatever. Yeah, no, because but he you, tried to pick up a, a vodka bottle like he was gonna hit Louis. And I just said, hey man, you, I mean, right when he picked up the bottle, I go, look, dude, I go, you got a choice, man, you, <laughs> but you better, you better kill me with that bottle. That's, I was like, you gotta right. kill me, man, because if you hit yeah. me with that, Hell yeah. nobody's gonna be able to t- stop me, man. Like Hell no one in this yeah. building. Good I mean, answer. I did spot security, man, Bardo. Much love and respect, man. You know, all you know, all these things. You know, in LA, man, I'm doing security things like that. So. For me, it's like I, it's no thing. But at the same time, the reason why I didn't do anything is because it was Nick's uh, event. And for me, I'm like, man, that's my <laughs> boy. We came together. Nick didn't care. Nick, Nick didn't give a fuck. Right, it ain't mine, man. I was just in the magazine at the hey, time. But, so. I, but for me, man, for me, I, I hold, I hold my boys and 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 my family to the higher level. So I said, you know no, what? He was very respectful. Let he was like, look, up. go outside. I'm gonna kick your ass outside. Otherwise, we can squash it in here. Yeah. And then he was like, it. all right, cool. He was like, you know. And, and then, then the girl I knew, like, I was, she was, I was, she was like, yeah, your boy was about to get in a fight with my boy. It wasn't gonna be good. And, I was like, he got a temper. I was like, no, nah, your oh, boy was about to go stop. to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Nick was, was over like, there doing side bags. Not even the hospital. They were about to bets. come in with a body bag. Like, like look. It's going to be over in about two seconds. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just let him calm down. Like, I was like, come on, Louis, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but anyways, let's get back to the fight. Like, so you got a fight coming up on Friday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think you need to think about that dude with the skinny arms and the big belly and the vodka bottle. Man, I think, <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to do that, man. I'm going to draw that like on the inside of my uh, my sleeve or my, my wrist or something. <laughs> so I walk out, I'm going to look at him and I'm going to go, ooh, But man, this time, don't give him a choice. Man. No, no choice is there. <laughs> Just going and smash. <laughs> Just going and smash. Is there any, yeah. trash, talk, is there any trash talking between you and the uh, the your competitor or the person yeah. you about to fight? Is you know like what? Is some like, I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass? You know what, man? Honestly, I I have yet to see. Are you it. too humble? The craziest, no. Nah, the craziest thing I ever seen was with uh, Rocha and uh, AJ, man. And and it was like, AJ turned around, you know, on him and during the match. And then so Rocha just walked up and kicked him in his back and kicked him off stage. So <laughs> there is a little. That, <laughs> that's how you get hostil- hostility. But you know, during the fight, I mean, during the match, you know, um, for me, it's an honor the dude uh, that I'm going against. Uh, Anderson, thank you for taking the fight, man. You know, I uh, Seth had a few people in mind, and, and we reached out, and, and nobody really, um, really answered back per se, but you did. So I appreciate that big time, um, giving me the opportunity to get in there with you. This guy's a, a two-time state champion wrestler, and he's wrestled with like our Olympic team. So he's he was in there helping them out. He's a really good coach. Um, they're out of Danville, um, but man, we had a check mat and check mat worldwide, man. Leo Vieira. Uh, Leandro, we, I mean, we're, I mean, for me, uh, uh, no gi is my world. I haven't been in a no gi match in a long time. So this one is no gi. This is going to be no gi. So I'm excited because it's going to be my first one in probably like two years. But I mean, I got, you know, my man, Rob, uh, Rob helped me out. Ali, Aaron, you know, uh, all my, my team over at Checkmate Folsom helping me out big time. Um, and my boy D, you know, man, much respect and love to you, brother. Um, you know, he got me in there wrestling, uh, you know, a lot before this match. So I was with some really tough uh, wrestlers. So they got I, you prepared. They got me prepared, ready. man. And, What's and a no-gi? So, so, it was a no-gi, yeah. 
So it's just like a, uh, like, you know, like those surf shirts, like a surf shirt or no shirt. And then some speedos like shut, sh- <laughs> So, you know, a gi is like when you wear like, like a, a kimono. Uniform. Karate kid. Oh, the kimono. Karate yeah. kid, yeah. right. But Karate kid. So, now we're in board no shorts and, and no shirt. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so you're really doing the shit thing. We're doing it. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's, really you, like, it's like, you like, can don't do grab it. me. You can't yeah. grab. <laughs> you, you got nothing to grab onto. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's no gi. You got to grab onto the person, right? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And man, this dude's gonna be thick. So I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped, and uh, he, he's gonna be good. There's gonna be some really good matches there. Uh, it's the fight to win, 77, uh, Sacramento. We, I, Seth's only doing these things a couple times a year. So if you're in Sac and you ain't got nothing going on on Friday, and you want to get, you want to get a really good vibe. Nick talked about earlier how the jiu-jitsu community is a family community. If mm-hmm. you've never experienced it, like come out, come hang yeah. out. Like we're gonna show love. We're gonna show love regardless of who you are. We're gonna make sure that you have a really good time. And 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 if anyone's a dick, trust me, they're gonna be pointed out. And we're gonna make sure that <laughs> you know it, it's, it ain't That's a threat. I mean, it's just like we're like, hey man, like you know what? Either go home or have a good time. I mean, realistically, because I mean, you're you're with surfer dudes, yeah. you know, guys that you know are, are in law enforcement that got to deal with bullshit all day. So oh, they want to have the yeah. good relaxing time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But then you got yeah. the homies there that are smoking weed and drunk. doing their thing, drunk, getting drunk, having a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, now high rollers. The last I place you want to do like that, though. <laughs> but it, but it's different though at the jujitsu at the jujitsu right. matches because it's not like going to the UFC where everybody in the crowd is a bunch of fat drunk guys that are just <laughs> trying to start <laughs> fight. Right, right. right. You you got like a crowd full of people that are jujitsu fighters. Oh yeah, they're everyone so there. You don't gotta, go there starting shit unless you want to end up <laughs> at Kaiser. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna tell you right hey, now. They're rolling deep, man. Yeah, hey, yeah. They're, they're, unless they're you got deep. good insurance at Kaiser or uh, <laughs> UC Davis, don't yeah, go yeah, starting yeah. shit. So. Yeah. You got to ask him about the high rollers. Yeah. So what is this thing with high rollers? Like uh, yes, my kind of event. Yeah, yeah, Mike you is smoke weed right, and I'm you trying to pull do up. jiu-jitsu, right? <laughs> See, they so, got it down they except know. for the jiu-jitsu side. Hey, they know, but they the just got to learn jiu-jitsu so now. They already got the rolling and smoke <laughs> you high rollers, man. I, I thought it was just roll up. Hey, yeah. So uh, high rollers is a, a jiu-jitsu event. Um, you know, I believe it's something with Eddie Bravo. Eddie Bravo. So I don't even know, man. I, I don't have no idea. But anyhow, they got the was Diaz high. brothers they, in there the now. Diaz brothers were there. Yeah, they were in there smoking weed and, and <laughs> reffing. And, and I, the funniest thing, man, I was cracking up, you know, with uh, Jeff Glover was out there, man. And, and uh, he started, uh, you, they were grappling and then they stopped. They stopped. Hold on. And then they, uh, <laughs> Nick brings out a blunt and he starts handing it to them to smoke. <laughs> I'm like, what? In the middle and of the he fight? Said, he said, you guys ain't high enough. And I'm like, are you kidding? And I know Jeff's been smoking the whole day because I was watching his Instagram live stuff too. And I'm like, man, this guy is going to be dead. Because I know if I, that was me, man, if I was just sitting in the room right when I walk out, I mean, I might not even make it to the stage. I'm just going to be standing there like. So instead right. of like belts, and, <laughs> instead of belts and like medals at the end, do we get like cookies and and snacks Bong. they get yeah <laughs> red yeah, you, get, you get it yeah you get cookies you get uh brownies i believe and things like that but i mean man shoot you know i mean to each his own i mean uh that's some a, people play that game man you know and that that's cool man I, as long is as that kind of like a slap to the ufc of like oh, oh there's no smoking weed like question. when they when uh, they banned like nick diaz for a year you know what was that like mm-hmm. was that kind of like the jujitsu world like answering back going "Eh, we're gonna support this for my perception my own perception i don't think so i just think that was that's their world you know you're Mm -hmm. that's that's their world they're creating and and, uh innovating what they desire in this life uh like by creating that you know do they do any drug testing at all for like um jujitsu matches no, for performance enhancing or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're in the Federation, the International Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Federation, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be tested. So um, I mean they can pull random tests, things like that, but most of these events, uh, no, like the fight twin, things like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um Demetrius, you had a couple questions. Oh yeah. You know I'm about to man, Dude, is you ready folks? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> nah, it's a, it's a disclaimer. We um, don't want you to think about it. Okay. It's when you hear the shit, just go ahead and Left or right, this or that. Okay. So, I want to ask you: Do you like, uh, say, if you are an actor or whatnot, mm-hmm. would you like to be a preacher or a kidnapper? Preacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you got some in that movie. Uh, 
y'all go look up what is it? Uh, uh, root of all root evil. Of all root evil. Of all evil. Yeah. Go look that up, man. Okay. Um, Dope director. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so about the name Mike Lee yeah. or Nick Lee. I said Mike. Hey. Mike Leisure. Okay. <laughs> taekwondo or jujitsu? Jujitsu. All day. All day, every day. You don't even think about Taekwondo? I don't even think about okay, it. Okay, let's keep it going. It's like uh, an ex-girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I know you got youngins. You got kids. Uh, yeah. uh, Yo Gabba Gabba or Sesame Street? Yo Gabba Gabba. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. Ooh, she nah. just, yo, Chloe, <laughs> no. Chloe, Maya, Noah, I love y'all. Uh, so Chloe just <laughs> got into Sesame Street just recently, so that's what why. up, Chloe? Mm. Well, okay, so Chloe. if you had a choice, would you choke slam a motherfucker? Or would you DDT a motherfucker? DDT. <laughs> <laughs> That's a WWF coming out of these <laughs> Okay, okay. Would you rather make somebody tap out or you TKO their ass? Tap out. Yeah, because I, I don't know. What? Man. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't TKO wanna... means I'm like, go to sleep. Motherfucker. Oh, you sleep. Ref, thank but you see, for stopping. But see, you're the one with the anger problems. He's not. <laughs> but then you might hurt your fingernail. Okay. No, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got two more. I got two more. I got two more. Um, Jean-Claude Van Damme or Steven Seagal? Ooh. Ooh, Steven Seagal. Oh, oh I'm going to throw out a curveball. That's curve a shocker. Ball. That's a shocker. Oh. Tough one. Yeah. Yeah, that got everybody out guard. All right, and this is my last one. The Rock or Stone Cold Steve Austin? Mm. The Rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know that's right. <laughs> he getting that money. Right. Yeah. So this is your sponsor now, right? Yeah, VNG, man. Talk VNG, about it, man. breaking new ground. Right, right. Yep, so yep. we got some dope shirts, man. It's uh, got my initials right here. Good quality, yep. too. There we go. Bang, bang. There we go. Hats. Bang, bang. Hats. Yes, sir. Clothing. Kind of look like a gang. Like kind of is, man. Mahal and that gang. <laughs> <laughs> Bing. Yeah. Bing. But dope, man. Uh, thank you for joining us today, yes, Louie. Yeah, thank you guys for having and me. And everybody, go check out. Where's the fight going to be at on Friday? At the Hyatt, baby. Hyatt downtown. Get with them. Oh, right down the street. Right. Can we get in? Can we get in? Yeah, Can we get yeah, come on, man. We I'll get you tickets. Through. 100. Come through, yeah. come through and watch, sure. watch Louie. Me tap next. somebody Pull it out Yes Big this Rob 72 weekend. Tapping in Says BJJ All, all right Our producer says It's time for us to go We appreciate you all Too For watching fun. and tuning in yes, We'll be yes. back live At 7.30 on Monday With the oh, former hey. NFL Cincinnati Bengal Adrian Ross The Quick Mad Monster Quick show Boom The Monster So <laughs> We out of here Yeah yeah